Apple Music has gotten tons of new features that I'm super excited to tell you about. With Apple's latest update, iOS 17.3, it's brought in collaborative features, reaction features, suggestions, and so much more. So that's why in this video, I wanted to show you everything that's new within Apple Music with iOS 17.3, and I'll also tell you a tiny trick that nobody's telling you. Let's get started with the star of the show collaborative playlist. Yes, you can now create a playlist with your friends, with your family, with your girlfriend, for example, me and my girlfriend, for example, we've created a playlist called us and in here we basically add all of the songs that bring us memories all of the songs that we like to listen in the car it's basically like our music i can see this being used for couples for friendships for road trips also like us here at the office we've created a casa Letic playlist so every single one of us at the office has access to this so we can basically keep adding music to the playlist. So every time we're at the office, we're basically like Siri, play music, and then all of our songs play at the same. I mean, it's, it's so I'm so happy that collaborative playlists are here. All right, so here's how it works. You basically grab a playlist, for example, this urban playlist that I have over here, I've got a bunch of hip hop music. And as you can see now with iOS 17.3, we've now got this icon right here. Or you can tap on the three dots and tap on collaborate. So once you tap on collaborate, it will ask you invite people to join. Over here, you're gonna have approved collaborators. What this means, if, if this is actually turned off, as it says here, anyone with the link will be able to join and we'll be able to delete, add songs. So if you wanna have a playlist that is private just for you and your wife, just for you and your husband, you can do it like here. Or if you wanna literally have like, you know, tons and tons of your friends, just keep adding it, just, you know, just turn it off. For the sake of this video, we are gonna turn it on and let's go ahead and tap on start collaborate. So as you can see, once that's done, it's gonna ask us, hey, do you wanna share it to somebody so we can actually airdrop it or send an invitation via iMessage to someone? There's a couple settings with a collaborative playlist. If you actually tap, you're gonna have the link once again. Also, keep in mind, it says link expires in seven days to prevent others from joining with the current link, you can actually generate a new link. So if you've actually sent it to a bunch of people and you don't want that link to work, you can actually create another one. Or you can actually create a QR code, which is pretty cool. Scan QR code to join. Anyone can join the playlist and we'll be able to edit and reorder the song. Let's go back and let's go to the playlist of me and Chenya, for example. If I actually tap here, you're actually gonna see who's actually inside of the playlist and you can actually leave. So if you join someone, you can actually leave the playlist just by tapping here. And then inside of the actual playlist, you can actually see who has added each song. As you can see, this is Chenya's profile photo and this is mine. So it's super cool that you can actually see who's actually added the song to the playlist. Let's go ahead and tap on this song, for example. Let me turn it down, just like that. Up here in the top, you're actually gonna get the name as well. And this is right here, what's new with iOS 17.3. You can actually react to songs, which is sick. Now, here's the thing, you can give it a thumbs up, and as you can see, you're, you've got that animation right there. You can also give it a heart. You can also give it some party. You can also give it some fire. Now here's a tiny trick. You can actually tap the plus icon and over here, you can actually react to any emoji that you want. So let's go ahead and type in poop. If you don't like a song of one of your friends that have added, you can actually just tap on the poop and you're like, yeah. I don't like this song, this song is trash. And what's cool is you can actually tap here and you can actually see all of your friends' reactions. So if you're in a playlist with like 10 friends, you'll see everyone's reaction. Now here's a trick that I was telling you at the beginning of the video. The way that we're gonna do it with Chenya, for example, is we're actually gonna add, for example, romantic songs. We're actually gonna give it a pink heart. And then the slower songs, we're actually gonna give it a different emoji. So think about this. I mean, apart from reactions, you can actually organize your playlist within emoji so you can actually organize your playlist in a way and categorize your specific music inside of a playlist by emojis within a collaborative playlist as well you're actually going to get the names of who's actually done the playlist so as you can see chenia morales crescenti and nikias molina has actually added it right now it's so important to actually have playlist available and then don't forget that if you actually tap on your profile your actual playlists are gonna pop up which by the way if you aren't following me on apple music i've got four amazing playlists available i've got fresh lemonade which is like the freshest pop music and hip-hop in the industry i've got not in english which is music that is not in english i've also got old lemons which is the best old lemons in the music industry and then i've got Bree. People love to study, people love to focus, and with this playlist, I mean, it's my favorite acoustic songs of all time. I've, I absolutely love just studying and working with Breathe. So yeah, links in the description for the playlists. Something that was new in iOS 17.2, not in iOS 17.3, 
is you can now favorite songs, albums, and artists. Now, for those of you who haven't updated to iOS 17.2 or iOS 17.3, Hopefully these features should convince you on how awesome these new features actually are. So as you can see, you've now got the star icon. So if you actually tap on that, all of the songs that you've actually favorited, you're, you're actually going to get a little star right here. But most importantly, if you tap on playlist, you're now going to have a favorite songs playlist. So anything that you tap the little star on, everything will go here and it won't go to the bottom. It will actually go straight to the top. I mean, favorite songs, collaborative playlist, emoji reactions i mean i'm just so happy that these features are here and then the last feature that i wanted to tell you about is the suggested song apple music will actually analyze all of the songs that you've actually added to the playlist and will give you hey you should check out this song you can actually have a tiny preview of the song and then if you actually like it you can tap on the plus icon and that song will automatically be added to the playlist of your choice. So those are all the new features in iOS 17.3. If you actually wanna discover and learn a bunch of useful tips, tricks, and hidden features on Apple Music, you can tap this video right here, or you could also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.